Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to our review of the Turtle Beach Elite Pro Tournament Edition headset. Uh, Turtle Beach has a brand new headset. Also, there is a brand new mix amp, or as they call it, the Tactical Audio Controller. And finally, we also be looking at the uh, Tournament Edition um, gaming mic. So this is Turtle Beach's brand new headset line uh, for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, so you can use it for all your gaming needs. It's got a brand new design. Um, again, uh, Turtle Beach has actually changed some of the design elements. You've got tension controls at the very top, so that should either tighten or loosen the tension at the very top of your head while you're wearing the headset. You can also you know, adjust each ear cup. Um, everything is built from the ground up. Doesn't look like a traditional Shuttle Beach headset, which is actually interesting. Uh, you can also swap out your microphones and it's got uh, proprietary cables, which we'll talk about once we uh, take a better look at it. But in terms of design, this is brand new and fresh. You can lay them flat on your neck if you choose to. And um, you know, the headset has a very unique feel altogether. So looking closely at some of the um, features on the headset, You've got 53 mm drivers, so these are large drivers, uh, Dolby D, uh, headphone DTX, uh, which should give you some really good audio. Now the tension bar on the very top uh, goes from a scale of one through 10. One being uh, the least amount of tension for someone like me with a big head. So that gives you the opportunity to wear the headset comfortably um, and you can actually use this for a pro prolonged period of time. Now for me, it's comfortable enough. I wish it actually extended more, but I like the fact that they do have that feature there. Now you're looking at the uh, mic that comes with the Turtle Beach headset. It's a standard microphone. Uh, the uh, the tournament edition microphone is sold separately. So this is the inline controls for the standard mic. Uh, it's got a mute button, it's got volume control on there, and it's a singular cable that connects via a 3.5 mm jack. So this will connect either to your Xbox, PS4 controller, or you could connect it to the uh, new tactical um, audio controller. There's a proprietary port that connects directly to the headset. So this uh, is something that um, it's specific to this headset. You can't use something else, so you have to get it from Turtle Beach. That's just the, the way they wanted to do that here. Now, uh, taking a look at uh, the uh, tactical audio controller, this thing has some really cool features. Again, it's also priced at $199, just like the headset. So just be mindful that this will cost you about $400 if you're using both of them combined. At the very front, you have a headphone jack, you have also a mic jack, and you have a, a, a port for controller. Uh, for the Xbox One and PS uh, and, and the Xbox 360. At the back, you have the uh, auxiliary port, you have a stream out port, you've got ethernet in and out, as well as optical in and out. So the ethernet ports are you, for you to daisy chain if you're trying to daisy chain, and you can select whichever console you're playing on. So you have uh, the switch in there that switches between PS4 or PS in general, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. Now, I wish they made this a little bit bigger instead of this little tiny knob at the back of the uh, controller. Uh, I wish it was just a single button where you could just tap one, two, three, four times and it tells you Xbox One, PS4, and the rest of that. But at least you have that functionality there that changes between each headset. Now, looking at the front of controller here, you've got a massive uh, general volume control there that lights up, telling you the indication where your volume range is. On the lower left-hand corner of that is a mute button. Um, and then on the top left-hand side, you've got your game and chat controls. So you can actually manage that quite easily. There is a center click, so that tells you you're at 50%. Moving on to the right here, you've got your back background um, uh, noise emitters, which takes out background noise, your um, outbound mic boost, as well as your mic monitoring. You can manage this in many different ways. What I've loved about it is the fact that it does a really good job, especially boosting the microphone and also taking out background noise. So this thing is really robust in terms of use case scenario. The presets are okay. They're nothing too special in my mind. Um, you know, uh, some of them are good, but in general, I stay away from presets. So that's something I just really didn't care much for. Now, um, when you're connecting the headset to uh, the uh, tactical audio controller, you can connect it this way. This is just the standard mic that you see right there, as well as the standard mic um, uh, cable. Now for the uh, tournament edition mic, this is also the connection setup. Now I want you guys to take a listen to both the standard mic and the tournament edition mic, and just get a good feel of how it actually sounds during gameplay. All right, guys, uh, playing Division here, and we're using the standard edition microphone, the one that actually comes with your Total Beach Elite Pro. It's a good mic. Um, it's on the lower end, but right now I have um, the uh, mic audio boost up, maxed out, um, 
on the uh, the tactical audio control, so that actually gives uh, some much better audio. Intercepting JTF radio traffic. And um, I can drop that down to 50%. Small arms fire. Okay, okay, JTF. JTF, hearing this? Please respond. All right. Back, guys. Analysis complete. Take out. Uploading coordinates. Uh, actually, I'm going to run away from here. I don't want to actually go to firefight right now. But now that's at 50% you're hearing me. It's 50% with the tactical audio controller. And I can drop it all the way to the bottom, which is zero. No outbound boost. And you hear the difference here. Um, the mic is still good. I uh, usually do. I usually crank it up a little bit. I, I do like the mic. It's decent. Um, you know, we hear how the... Uh, the tournament edition sounds, and then we can go there from there and compare both of them. Uh, and uh, let me just take out these fools. All right, so we are testing out the tournament edition microphone um, for the Turtle Beach Elite Pro. Uh, it is connected to, of course, the tactical uh, audio controller, aka the own mix amp. And uh, you can hear how well it sounds. I, I like the mic. The mic is fantastic. Uh, I've used it for quite a bit here. Friends have said, you know, uh, your mic audio is pretty good. We like the way it sounds. So, um, in all honesty, it sounds really good. Um, so, uh, that's the beauty of this, this this mic. It does a fantastic job. Uh, it sounds really good. Audio is crisp and clear too. Um, what I'm going to do is just kind of run up there to where some of that firefight is, some of the cleaners. Uh, there we go. So you hear, you can still hear me while this is going on. You know, and uh, it's, the game still does a good job and, you know, mixing everything together. The mic still sounds good. What's the last dude? Oh, okay. here So you get a good idea. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, round up uh, this review. So the Elite Pro noise cancelling microphone right there is the best mic to use with the Elite Pro Tournament Edition headset. Um, the, the audio quality from the mic is good. Pairing that, of course, with the tactical audio controller, it is fabulous. So this might be a gamer's dream here in terms of you know gaming headset. The Elite Pro line, the headset for one ninety nine. The tactical amp for $199 and the mic, which is the tournament noise cancelling mic, which is $39.99. Um, yes, it's a hefty price tag, but I think overall you're getting one of the best solutions out there possible. Now, for me, the things I want to see them change though is improve the standard microphone that comes with it. Also, uh, I would like to see just you know better tension grips on the headset. But overall, I do like them, and if you're looking to pick them up, I definitely recommend them, especially with that tactical audio controller. That is one of the best um, uh, mix amps you could say I've used uh, on the PS4, Xbox One, as well as the PC. You plug it, it plays, it works really well. So, if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Um, if you're looking to pick it up, we have. A link for you down below don't forget to like and share this video favor this video please subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment